Welcome to my office. I'm glad y'all could be here. This is where I work every day. It's one of the great wonders of life. What will it be like to go to sleep and never wake up? Think about that. Children think about it. And if you think long enough about that, something will happen to you. You will find out, among other things, that uh, it'll pose the next question to you. What was it like to wake up after having never gone to sleep? That was when you were born. We can also look further into it and see that if our death could be indefinitely postponed, we would not actually go on postponing it indefinitely. Because after a certain point, we would realize that that isn't the way in which we wanted to survive. Why else would we have children? Because children arrange for us to survive in another way. By, as it were, passing on a torch. So that you don't have to carry it all the time. There comes a point where you can give it up. Because as each new individual approaches life, life is renewed. And one remembers how fascinating the most ordinary everyday things are to a child because they see them all as marvelous because they see them all in a way that is not related to survival and profit. When we get to thinking of everything in terms of survival and profit value as we do, then the shapes of scratches on the floor cease to have magic. And most things, in fact, cease to have magic. When you die, you're not going to have to put up with everlasting non-existence because that's not an experience. A lot of people are afraid that when they die, they're going to be locked up in a dark room forever and, it, and sort of undergo that. You see, you, you can't have an experience of nothing. Nature abhors a vacuum. So after you're dead, the only thing that can happen is the same experience or the same sort of experience as when you were born. It is not therefore natural for us to wish to prolong life indefinitely. But we live in a culture where it has been rubbed into us in every conceivable way that to die is a terrible thing. The reason we die is to give us the opportunity to understand what life's all about. By letting go because then we come to a situation that the ego can't deal with. When we are no longer hypnotized by that, then our natural consciousness can see clearly what all this universe is for. If any one of us could at this moment be as one about to die, genuinely and honestly, we would understand the mystery of life.